Over here you see some so-called transmission electron micrographs of uh, eukaryotic cells and uh, I'm asking you what is this one over here? You see over here these are round, uh, two round structures and the question is well, you have to be able to identify these structures and what are you able to see here? And I'm just going to explain to you that what you see is you see mitochondria. So you have over here the outer membrane and do you see these things in here? These are the infoldings. Th these are the, mem the membranes that fold in. So what you see over here, these are mitochondria. Nope, I, I'm writing on my ca cable over here. I've got my headphone cable on my graphics tablet. So, so these are mitochondria. And in the drawing, I've always drawn it like this as bean shaped structures and there are these infoldings and I guess you already have this in your notebook and I, I know what you're thinking uh, why did uh, I draw it in, in this bean shaped uh, structure and in reality under the electron in the electron micrograph it looks um, so so round over here so why why not bean shaped um, so well, is this wrong or what, what is, what's going on here? Well, two answers. First of all, nature is so diverse. Why not also have mitochondria, uh, which are more round? That's answer number one. I know that's kind of a cheap answer for you, uh, but honestly, nature is really diverse. Uh, you can find almost anything. The more... Um, a pleasing answer probably would be is, is you're seeing a different cross section and uh, what you see over here is is um, actually the mit mitochondrion being cut across uh, like this and you're viewing it um, uh, head on so they are from from uh, from a different from a different angle and if you because the mitochondrion is three dimensional so what you actually have is, is you have the bean shaped mitochondrion extending out of your monitor towards you and you're just uh, looking uh, looking at the mitochondrion from from this from the side so that is uh, that is uh, basically uh, an, a second explanation not important for right now um, I just tell you, you got to be a little bit flexible um, concerning drawings because all of these drawings over here are not really reality, of course, but drawings are always a model of re reality. They kind of represent reality. They simplify reality so that we can deal with reality a little bit better. Now, I know this sounds a little bit theory of knowledge like TOK. I agree. Well, I'm also a TOK teacher, so shouldn't be surprising. Over here, what do you see over here? Um, you see over here, this one over here is the nucleus. Okay, it, it goes on over here. So that's the nucleus. Uh, this structure in here could be the nucleolus. And if this is the nucleus and this is the nucleolus, I suppose, then the question is, what is that, everything over here? What are these dark regions over here and this uh, light gray regions over here? Um, and uh, that's, of course, the DNA, uh, but not all of the DNA inside the nucleus is used all the time. So there are certain parts of the DNA which are packaged away um, and uh, not used. And the used ones is loose and is active. And that's why you have the different colors um, over here. But both the dark gray and the light gray part here, that is uh, the DNA. So that's the nucleus with the nucleolus. Um, these little friends down here, you probably already know. What are they? Surprise, surprise, these are our mitochondria. Okay, and now what about um, all of these lines here? I see so many lines over here. Uh, what is this? That is our rough endoplasmic reticulum, the RER. Uh, and uh, what about the ribosomes? Would you not expect some ribosomes on here? Yes, they can be found on here. You know what? They're so small that you cannot see it in the electron micrograph here. If you see a cell which is packed full with RER, like this one over here, then the chances are pretty good that the cell is able to secrete uh, proteins or it's a secretory cell or it's a gland cell. Um, it produces proteins which are released outside of the cell because the RER with its ribosomes on the surface produces proteins which ultimately end up outside of the cell. Um, they're transported out. So that is uh, basically the, the, the IDE over here. And... Uh, you see over here that, well, look at this. It says here lung transmit. I don't know. Lung is kind of interesting. 
Um, is this could this be maybe a cell secreting mucus? I don't know. Okay. So in any case, uh, I don't know about if this lung has any significance. Doesn't matter. Um, in any case, you should be able to identify the rough endoplasmic reticulum, the mitochondria over here, the nucleus, the DNA in here, and most likely the nucleolus uh, as this structure in here. So uh, let's move on to the next, uh, to the last uh, picture. And what is that over here? Uh, this structure over here is a chloroplast. That's the chloroplast. So we're looking at a plant cell. So this is outside here is uh, the membrane, the outer membrane. Inside over here, you see these dark regions over here. But in reality, it's not, these are not just... Uh, it look like 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 squares over here but in reality no these are stacks of membrane these are the silicoid membranes and you see that some of them stretch across here some of them are longer over here and then there's a stack of uh, silicoid membranes and i've made a drawing already in a previous video we've drawn the chloroplast like this and that's a membrane that's a membrane some of these stretch across this was my simplified drawing of uh, of a chloroplast. Okay, so um, more realistic probably would be a drawing that looks like this. You have a membrane over here, and over here you have your silicoids. But this also looks a little bit more sloppy, so I don't know if it's a good idea. But uh, that's uh, basically a second possibility of making a quick draw quick drawing. Um, you see these dark. Uh, structures over here I, I think these could be starch grains um, I do not know if they used iodine to stain the whole thing but it's not unusual to find starch grains inside um, in, inside uh, chloroplasts but then again you see over here also very dark regions over here so uh, maybe not maybe not starch grain maybe artifacts uh, preparing the cell got to be careful here um, but it's not nothing unusual to also find starch inside uh, inside chloroplast. Well, what else do you see over here? Um, over here, this is most likely the cytoplasm, and over here, this could be a mitochondria. It does look like there's some kind of infoldings over here. Okay, a little bit unclear. Um, these structures over here also a little bit un. Could this be? I don't know. Could this be a a a stack of of discs here, like a Golgi body? very well with a lot of fantasy with a lot of fantasy okay um so but that could be a golgi body maybe these are vesicles over here that could be uh, also a little bit unclear and but very interesting is the following this uh, thing uh, out here is, is that's pretty thick it goes from here to here now that is most likely the cell wall and you see that there is uh, basically a light gray outer part and a dark gray um, inner part of the cell wall. Now, what is the difference? Why is this uh, outer part over here light gray, the inner part dark gray? Well, I'm very honest with you. I have no idea. Um, I got to guess uh, maybe the different density of the uh, cellulose. I have no idea. And I think it's also not important. But what is important is that um, the cell wall it's kind of very obvious it's relatively thick the cell membrane um, is really thin um, it, it's got to be in here I don't know if this is line over here represents the cell membrane I don't know anyway very thin because you even have problems seeing the mem individual membranes over here of, of, of the chloroplast and of the silicoid membranes so the membrane is generally kind of difficult to see at the um, at this resolution magnification but uh, one of the things that i'm more certain is is that uh, this one out here is is, uh, is the cell wall and it is quite thick so um should i actually label the chloroplast the the, the, the contents you know why why not let's just do that um, you have to know it anyway, and that's a nice uh, opportunity to, to, to label the chloroplast when we already talk about uh, cell organelles. You have to know it. But then I actually also have to make a drawing of, um, of a mitochondria. So let's uh, talk about this. this is the outer membrane. Do not, talk cell, do not say cell membrane because this is the membrane of the chloroplast, not of a cell. Or the outer membranes, you know, outer. And these are the silicoid membranes. Very bad labeling line. Membrane. 
Um, this stack of uh, thylakoid membranes is referred to, these are the grana, or one granum. Granum is singular, grana is plural. Look, if you, if you label this, you give me a proper labeling line, okay? That's, <laughs> that's a stroma. Some people say, well, that's a cytoplasm. No, it's not the cytoplasm, it's called the stroma. And uh, is there anything else? Some people refer to this here as the so-called the granal thylakoids and these long ones would stretch the stroma as the stromal thylakoids. These long ones over here stretching the stroma, it's the stromal. You, you can also label that, but I think that is the important part over here. But, but I've got to be fair now. If, I've, if I'm giving you a, a, a drawing of, of, of a mitochondrion, I actually also have to uh, make a, a drawing, a more detailed drawing of the mitochondria here. So I'm also going to do that. So you have the outer membrane, the OM. Don't write down, don't write OM, just write outer membrane. And then you have an IM, which is the inner membrane. And between the outer membrane and the inner membrane of the mitochondrion, you have an IMS, and that's the intermembrane space. Intermembrane space. What does this mean? Inter well, the space between the membranes. Inter means between. Nothing more than, than nothing less. And on the inside over here, oh, Again, bad labeling line. It's called the matrix. Kind of e easy to remember. Mitochondria have a matrix, and that's the inner in in a part over here. And these infoldings that you see over here, and also in here, I'm, I'm going to label it up here. It's easier for me to do that. These are known as the criste. And what do they do? They increased surface area for certain chemical reactions. Which chemical reactions? Um, biology, higher level people have to know that. That's the so-called oxidative phosphorylation in, in cell respiration um, occurs here um, in the yeah, inner membrane. Well, that's basically that's basically it. I think uh, I've explained now quite a lot. Uh, so that's it. And over here, yeah, that's the chloroplast, which I just explained. Okay, and I think uh, I'm just gonna call it uh, call it quits for right now.